Kairate, everyone. Today, me and my little assistant, which you can see there, are going to talk a little, as you can see from the guitar, about John Petrucci. Before we start talking about his uh, left hand, his right hand, his speaking technique, let me just point one thing. You'll need gears in order of reaching Petrucci's sound. It doesn't really matter which kind of guitar you're using, or uh, the strings, or uh, which kind of pick. The 19% of his sound is in uh, his hands and his gears. As I'll show you later, the guitar is not much a big deal, and I'll explain later why. Let's start now with his left hand. Petrucci started playing guitar after uh, he saw his older sister playing a classical guitar, and that's basically where he started on a classical guitar. So basically, his hand is stronger than uh, the hand of an electric guitar player, is as strong as a classical guitar player. So, as for Momsin, keep on the work in order of making your hand stronger. But, as for Momsin, do it properly, don't exaggerate, beware tendinitis and other problems. So, be careful while uh, making your hand stronger. Another thing, while playing normally, I mean while he is not playing as fast as, a, as an airplane, he is bowing uh, his wrist as a master should tell you. But while running, he is using the um, classical position. His wrist is, you see, straight. His tendons are much more efficient. And even, as I said in another video, is shredding only with these three fingers. And as Satriani, he is using this part of his thumb for controlling his fingers. He is doing something like this. Now I have seven strings, don't mind me. Take a look at the videos and you're going to see it quite good. Another thing, his thumb is always a little backward than his fingers because he needed to reach these uh, higher frets. Matter of fact, in the latest version of his guitar, this part of the body has been removed in order of reaching these higher frets. Now, let's talk a little about his uh, right hand, which I found much more interesting. The first thing that you've got to say is Petrucci is putting this part of his hand on the bridge, like this. And he's controlling, he's balancing, he's picking with the forefinger of his right hand, something like this, you see? I'm putting my finger, I'm putting my hand, and now I'm picking. It's quite a useful technique, I use it a lot while I have to play arpeggios and so on. So that's basically how he balances his uh, normal picking. While uh, um, playing faster, instead is um, putting his hand like this because he is balancing his picking technique with these three fingers, something like this. Again, take a look at the video and you're going to easily see it. Talking about a little his picking technique, he is not holding his pick uh, uh, vertically like this, but at 45 degrees like mums in order of not getting cocked at the strings and while playing normally like uh, not running as an airplane he's holding his right arm at 90 degrees because he's playing with his arm while playing faster he uses a mixed technique between arm and shoulder and he holds his right arm at 45 degrees and then while standing up, he puts his finger on the finger. I'm sorry, uh, foot on the footrest. He puts his guitar on and play fast like this. People may think it's for his left hand. No, it's because he needs to balance his uh, picking technique while playing faster. Now, let's talk a little about the concept of resonance. As I said before, the 19% of his sound is um, in his gears and his hands because, uh, as you can see, this guitar has a thin neck and a thin body. Holding quite tight the guitar as uh, he does leaves you with no resonance. The, the neck is thin, so it's not going to sound very much. The body is thin, it's all tight, so the whole sound come fr comes from his hands. 
the picks and the gears. That's why I'm saying that if you wanna sound like Petrucci, you need gears, because you almost have no resonance with his guitar, his signature guitar. If you wanna sound like him, there are quite useful pedals. I use this pedal, it's a throttle box, it's another great pedal, and you're gonna sound pretty much like him, but I suggest you to buy also an, uh, an equalizer. Um, Behringer uh, equalizer is a, is a good one. I think it's $20 and this <laughs> instead is $220. So basically uh, you need to find your own way, your own pedals in order to sound like him. Now, uh, which is the key in order of reaching Petrucci's sound? I found out that the key is basically fear. If you take a look at the uh, link that I put below in the description of uh, live, you can see that while playing the solo, he is using his um, middle pickup. Why, you may wonder, because that muffy sound makes you hear no mistakes. What is driving him is fear of making mistake. That's why he has an almost perfect technique and that muffy sound in the extreme situations, because he's afraid of making mistakes. Instead of not caring about it like John Lord used to do, he used to say if you make a mistake, repeat it, people are going to think that you made it on purpose. Or people like uh, Robert Plant, which sometimes was uh, out of tune, but you know, people <laughs> don't care, it's Led Zeppelin. So um, basically, he is afraid of making mistakes, and that's why. He uh, is so technical. Fear is moving him in order to reach an almost perfect technique and a sound that makes you hear almost no mistake if necessary. So, basically, this is pretty much what you need in order of uh, reaching Petrucci's sound. Expensive gear. Mm, let me just say one last thing about his signature guitar. You're not going to need this guitar in order of playing like Petrucci. You need simply Di Marzio pickups. As I said before, the wood is not really a matter. The neck, the body have almost no resonance. So basically use a guitar where the frets are comfortable and where the pickups are uh, Di Marzio. Basically, that's what you need in order of reaching Petrucci's sound. So, this is pretty much it. I hope my advices are going to come in handy somehow. I hope you like it. And uh, simply see you in my next video. Bye!